Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Thomas. Today we're back here with Nostalgia Critic. And today, well, we got a movie that spawned an unbelievable franchise, Sharknado. Yeah, I actually remember when people were pretty hyped about this B movie. It's pretty crazy. I don't know why. I mean, normally with something like this, you know, like, okay, that's gotta be a B movie. But no. People just got on board with it and were just hyped. I mean, there's uh, five other movies, too. I'm not kidding. This whole franchise started here and had six films in it. I'm not kidding. Jeez. Anyway, why don't take a look back and see what inspired people to make a franchise out of it. Be sure to like, subscribe for more. Hope you enjoy. Let's go. Expect uh -oh. <laughs> anything less? T what? Cinema hey, Cinema Stop. The hell are you doing here? Christ, I need your help with something. With what? Me? You need my help? <laughs> the great and cynical Cinema Snob actually needs my help? Not really. I'm just following the orders you have in your script. Okay, okay. Well, what do you need? Mm -hmm. It's this damn Sharknado movie. Sharknado? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody's been talking comes. about it since they announced its premiere on Sci-Fi, especially with its sequel coming out. It's all over mm -hmm. Twitter, sequels, Facebook, the hell, there's even cosplays of it at conventions. It's like this underground phenomenon. Well, okay, what about it? Well, obviously there's only one reason that a piece of shit like this would become such a big hit. The name? The magical star power of John Hurd. The name. And my thought is, if I could come up with a name that combines just as much epic, testosterone-filled <laughs> bullshit, then I could make a bundle, too. You sure the about that? The problem is, is I haven't found the right combo yet. Well, what do you got? <sighs> what do you got so far? Uh, let's see. Tankosaurus, Chainsaw Quake, and Transformer Zombies. Hmm. Well, that's not bad. But everybody's combining two things. If you really want to push it to the next level, you do three. Like, werewolf lightning ninjas. Hmm. Cool. Cannibal spider Nazis. Nuclear Amish Holocaust. Cancer beating robo snakes. Gun testicled vampires. A chocolate Cthulhu cool. Christmas. Wait a minute, this can't be the only reason this yeah, movie that can't is be it. There has to be something outside of the name that actually draws people to it. I'd like to see you find it. Well, why don't we take a look? Why don't we see why the people of the internet are blown away by Sharknado? What do you say? Godzilla vampire bots. This is Sharknado. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> so, the movie doesn't waste any time giving us what we yep. want. As sharks tons of sharks, sharks are seen swimming away from the storm of the century. Don't you feel so safe knowing that the coast always has millions of sharks in one location at any time? Maybe they're on the way to buy Grand Theft Auto V. Surprise. Oh, there they go. We come across a boat of finners who are skinning the most realistic sharks you'll see in this movie as the captain of the boat gives his financier a bowl of fuck you soup. Not quite good. Not great. Oof. I can't believe he doesn't love my grandma's good but not great soup! My associates and I are willing to negotiate a reasonable price. Let's say a hundred thousand. One million for the entire take. Or my accent will get sillier. What the hell is that? They're called waves. They do that from time to time. Think of it as a wake-up call. But Antonio Ben... Yeah, I mean, you ain't wrong. With boating, you tend to get that sometimes. <laughs> but, the uh, I'm not gonna spoil anything for, like, the future ones, but this one comes back at the end of the franchise. I'm not kidding, look it up. Barrisman has postponed his negotiations as he's being attacked by the great comeuppance storm of 2013. Oh! Shouldn't you stay put? Oh, come on, what? pac -Man doesn't eat people that yeah. fast. Oh, no, 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 no. That's oh, the last bye. you'll see of the Sharknado for another hour. What? 
Yeah. Really? Sharknado, ironically, has very little Sharknado in it. Well, then, why the hell am I watching it? Oh, don't worry. It's followed by the second most epic thing you can imagine. Yeah? What's that? Tara Reed's credit. <laughs> he gets it, I guess. We see the leftover bee footage from Piranha 3D as the local beach is That's preparing okay. for a hurricane plot point to arrive. David, I've still got some moves, you know, man. Hey, what did I tell you? You can touch everything this far except for me. Hey! This is Nova, a waitress who apparently got headbutted by a Klingon. And this is George, played by John Hurd, or rather the leftover audio of Krusty's Belches. Hey, I'm not judging you, darling. They're an angel and must be in heaven. So he gives him a look and you give him a nip, and I'm not gonna have any place to drink. Oh, I'll never get my aim back. <laughs> <laughs> Aye. But sure enough, sharks start attacking in water much too shallow for them to swim in and start munching people up. Dude, okay, what's the random pushing guy off stairs thing? Maybe he was a shark spy. Help! I accidentally buried my leg in the sound and nobody thinks it's funny! What were you thinking? You could have been killed. I'm fine. Nova runs into her friends, Finn and Baz, who suffered a shark gnawing on his leg for half a minute, and yet his wound looks like a ketchup packet got burst by a rake. Yeah, that's not a like hole. It's not funny. It's yet you're smiling like me. Not funny. Hey, you gonna be okay? Is she gonna be okay? Did they just miss the guy who was bit by a fucking shark? Well, and the one that lost a leg versions. back there. These are based on how good the victims look in a bikini. Finn and Baz are sharing their story when Nova seems to overstep her boundaries a bit. Just happy you're okay. Hey, hey, what are you doing? What do you think? You're too old for me? No, I'm your boss. So, go get back to work. Wow. Daddy issues. Hey, I'm not judging you, darling. I have daddy issues, too. You know, Aren't we all? you think John Hurd was actually cast for this movie, or did they mm -hmm. just happen to come across him at the bar and they just put him in? Hell, I Could just be. assumed he came along with any B-movie production. So, what can I get with the gold B-movie package? Well, you get the special effects team who did Ghost Shark, a guaranteed sequel no matter how bad it is, and for no additional charge, we'll throw in John Hurd. And what about the silver package? Silver well, package? You get the leftover CG effects from Reboot, a directed DVD release, and a cameo by Billy Zane. Hmm. And, and what about the bronze package? Gary Busey. <gasps> yeah, give me gold. I'll take the gold package. Excellent choice, sir. <laughs> But an upcoming yes. hurricane that FEMA declares a category fuck gets Finn concerned about his ex-wife played by Tara Reid. April, it's Finn. There's yeah, April. Man, I know your voice. What do you want? Look, I'm just calling to make sure. When did you go back to using Wexler again? <laughs> what? That's my name. Look, Finn, I'm really busy. I'm busy walking past pictures of myself and getting ready to go to Newfoundland. <laughs> Unless this is about Ubi Bowl's birthday, I'm not interested. Hurricane David is poised to be the first hurricane to hit the state of California. Widespread flooding is expected, and experts are saying global warming is the reason for this unprecedented event. Flying sharks, on the other hand, is due to yeah. shitty writing. <laughs> yeah, I think we can all agree, not possible, but... Eh, we get sharks eating people. <laughs> I guess that's why? I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I'm still wondering how this got popular. Could be just the acting of everyone just giving their all, but well, let's keep going. There's probably more. Damn. Now that's what I like to call a dead ball shot. Seeing how none of the sharks are adhering to the no shirt, no service sign, mm -hmm. they figure this is bad for business and try to head out. There they go. Also, clear is this when the hell is the animation attacks? I'm just trying to figure out why it's cloudy and storming in half the shots and then sunny and pleasant in the other half. Did they just forget the clouds in those shots? Well, uh, okay. you just Thanks. witnessed the most embarrassing moment of your life. For the chick they, or the they, shark? They Pick one. Both. <laughs> oh, it kind of cares, Oh, yeah. How would you like to be in a movie called Sharknado, and it's the fucking Ferris wheel that kills you off? 
at the very least, I'm calling you Ferris Wheel NATO. <laughs> Jesus. So seeing how today's now a day off, they decide to go check on Finn's ex-wife and kid. I'm really worried about Claudia and April. I gotta check on them. Who's Claudia? His daughter. You have an ex-wife and a daughter? As your employee, you, you work with no them for how long? To, I am very disturbed by this. I want to go with you. But even the streets are no longer safe as the water continues to rise. What the hell are sharks in the streets? Hey, ho, ho, ho. Hold up with the guns. We don't need more blood in the water. Yeah, if a shark comes up to you planning to eat your guts out, just say you're going to tell on his parents. Yes. Uh, but too many hit and swims start to take place as our heroes try to get out and help some of the people. Everyone needs to get to higher ground! Help me! Help me! Help me! Give me go this looks like a job for my fighting stool! I did a Zool motherfucker joke in the last review. That should die yeah. me over. But Mom, alas, move, move, move. the rest of our movie must go unheard. Oh. Hi, John! Tell Tom Hanks I said I don't get it. Ooh. Bye, perfect guy. Not like a hero. <laughs> we didn't even get to make a Home Alone joke. <laughs> our heroes press on and make it to Tara's house and force their way in. I told you not to come. Go away. Take your little stupid friend and bad leave. Whoa! Teenage music page. Ow! Oh, oh, <laughs> You're saying? By the way, I'm not a stripper. They, of course, come across her like jackass boyfriend and her kinda jackass Claudia. daughter. I'm not going anywhere with you. Just leave. I didn't come here to argue with you. I came here to get you. Jeez, too much? Ruckus. Hi! Oh, Shepard. I was off to play the villain in Titanic 2. Finley, April is mine. Excuse me? My girlfriend is not your responsibility. Khan, don't be rude. Yeah, why can't you be more like me, trying to force them out of the house? There are sharks flooding the streets. And one in your pool. And now there's one swimming in your pool. Are you kidding? Sharks in the swing pool is impossible. Ah! Oh no, the oh, shark is gonna hit the fan! Bet you're ready that shotgun now! Okay, when the effects in this movie are less impressive than the shark hand puppet in Third Rock from the Sun, you know someone yeah. needs a bigger budget. You have to go to Ben Ives to get Matt. Matt's in flight school there. I thought he was vacationing in Tampa with his buddies. Who's Matt? Son. My brother. You have a son too? Okay, are we not in a relationship? Or really not in a relationship? I mean, again, how long have you been known Nova? Like, you were hitting on him, so you think you would know the family. Then again, I've seen some of my co-workers kids, so I don't know everything, so... Fair enough, I guess? I don't know. Do you know your co-workers' families? Let me know. I mean, I know some of them for myself, but other than that, I got nothing. Anyway. Whoa! Oh! Oh! What for that housing market? Well, they gotta have Sharknado insurance. They decide to make their way to where his son is, but I'm of course, more trouble wasn't comes a part along. of the thing. We have to go get Matt. Don't you see that? There could be kids in there. There's no one in there, and your kid Goodbye. is right here. We have to get her somewhere safe. This is so typical of you, Finn. You care more about other people than you do your own family. You know, Tara, I'm aware you're in a movie called Sharknado, and you're not gonna use your A material. But can you, at the very least, try up a D minus performance? Now, Tara, I know that you're trying to convey actual human emotion, but I swear to Christ, if you don't get this right, I am gonna replace you with a lamp. I understand. <laughs> Just try to convince me that you're not an alien, and we can get through this and call it a night, okay? Got it. Let me call my acting coach to help me out. Whatever you need. <laughs> Good boy. Commander, the humans are on to me. They do not believe I am one of them. Do not fear the rest. <laughs> Our mission to consume humanity through shitty movies is nearly at an end. 
If they start to suspect okay. anything, just, just draw emphasis to a body part you have not drawn emphasis to yet. I am running out of those, but I will do my best. Alright, you ready, Tara? Yes. Action! Action! Oh no! A Sharknado! Cut! Well, she's awful, but she's got a damn good back of the neck. <laughs> On with the next scene! Yikes. Honestly, got nothing left to say to that. It's pretty interesting to see, though. A group of idiots come across another group of idiots and decide it's best to help them out. Water's rising. I'm gonna go up to the bridge and rappel down. Finn, this is crazy. You know, I have to side with Finn here. I mean, what is he supposed to do? Let all the children in the bus be eaten alive by sharks and or drowned to death? Maybe. Dude, ours, but pretty. Just when the kids think there was finally a reason to climb that damn rope in gym class, it looks like Hollywood itself is trying to stop this movie. Go! Gun! Stop lingering on me, camera! Don't you know that means I'm gonna die? Uh, you okay? My mom always told me Hollywood would kill me. But I was thought you know, the about her saying the sign and not the metaphor was especially confusing until now. Much, bye, dude. The Ouch. hurricane continues to fling sharks across Hollywood. Sharks yeah. across Hollywood. That's not bad. Write that one down. Ooh. And sure enough, our heroes fall victim to their flying ways. Help! Oh, oh, no, that might... asshole. Can you got Jesus, a shotgun? Use it. These things. It all shows I've seen about sharks. I've never seen one that said they just constantly want to eat everything put in front of them like Cookie Monster. Ah, all I did was confuse you for a seal. Mate, I smell gas. I do too. Come on, get out of the car. Get out of the car. But a gas leak occurs inside their car, and you know what that means. They need they more boom? gas. Nope. It just blows up. We don't even see the spark that sets it off. It just randomly blows up. Oh, I forgot. In crappy movies, gasoline is the nitroglycerin of sensitive liquids. Oops. <laughs> if only. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Thus, they need a new car. And thankful. Yeah, honestly, I'm surprised. I mean, the fact that, like... One week, they were like, time to go. And I'm like, nah, we're fine. No? Boom! Just. Yeesh. I'm surprised, honestly, with how fast that just went boom. Uh, like you said, there wasn't a spark at all. Ay -ay -ay. Anyway. A lot of famous studio cars is right across Ooh, the way. For rent or sale. So, nice. what famous vehicle do they end up driving? This piece uh, of shit okay. that wasn't in anything. Oh, come on, you have that set up and you don't even take advantage of it? How cool would it be if they were driving around in Ecto-1 or the Batmobile or the shit on Johnny Young Bosch van? Hell, this movie would have been a fuck ton better if they got to ride around in the Knight Rider car. Oh my God, how amazing would it be if they rode in Kit from Knight Rider? Kit, we need your logic and deductive reasoning to help us out. Of course, what seems to be the problem? There's a Sharknado chasing us. No, really. What hey, seems what to is be it? the problem? I told you, there's a Sharknado. I'm being serious. What is it? It really is a Sharknado. You're not going to tell me, are you? No, seriously, without any hint of sarcasm, there is a tornado filled with sharks and it's trying to kill us. You know, if you guys aren't going to take this seriously, I'm just going to shut off. God damn it. They make it to the location of Finn's son, but sadly, it doesn't probably take much time for our unnatural disaster to catch up with them. Dude, don't go near the window. Bye! <laughs> Was that the wind that took her out or a Photoshop arrow? Bye! The team's decided that this has gone far enough. Ironic, because the Sharknado has literally just arrived. So they try to figure out a way to stop it. Bombs. 
Bombs? Instead of letting live sharks rain down on people, we're gonna get in that chopper and throw bombs into the tornadoes. Wait a minute. Are they literally it? talking about blowing up the Sharknado? Your yep. son wants to go into a helicopter and drop a bomb into the tornado. Blasting those bastards to bits. Yeah, I said we take a baseball bat and break that Sharknado's knees. Well, it worked in Jaws 5, didn't it? There's no sharks. But alive. how is that gonna That's stop it. a tornado? Tornadoes happen when cold and warm air meet. Now, if you drop a bomb head you're right in the middle of it, you just might equalize it. You do know that the That's science you've been works. listening to in Dexter's lab is not real science, don't you? Dee Dee, I'm surprised how little you know about Sharknado science. Almost surprisingly, if this only. movie does attempt to throw in some character development scenes. Or at least that's what I think they're calling these moments. Look, what are you and Mom doing? You guys could barely stand to be in a room together for five minutes and now, what, because you're saving Matt? You guys are best friends again? He is my son. I'm your daughter. You guys are always there for him and you're never there for me. You don't think I'd try? Not hard enough. I came for you, oh, boy. <laughs> Try to remember that. The important okay. thing is I like one of you more than the other. And admitting that makes me a better parent. Oh boy. What? Ooh, I've always had a thing for French fries stuck on a woman's legs. I don't like to talk about it. Oh. Well, if the pain's too deep for you, I will in no way do yeah, anything three, two, whatsoever. I was raised by my grandparents. Okay. When I was seven, go. my grandpa took me fishing on one of those day charter deals with his friends. Suddenly all these sharks just started swarming in. The men, Jump. they tried to protect me, but by morning they were all gone. You know, do we really need a this reason to now? hate sharks in this movie? I mean, they're giant killing machines who eat people. I don't think we especially need to make this personal. Six True. people went into the water. And one little girl came out. And that's how I found out there was no shark Santa Claus. They took Santa my Claus. grandfather. And the five of really hate right. sharks. Okay. Now I really hate sharks too. <laughs> no <laughs> duh! That ingenious insight. <laughs> I don't like sharks either. the sky and eating people wasn't enough, well now they've attacked your dad's kinda, sorta, Ooh. but not really girlfriend. Yeah, isn't that kinda like saying you hate Osama Bin Laden after 9-11, but then after you found out he didn't feed his cat? Oh, well now I really hate him. So the quest <laughs> is on to fly into the Sharknados, there being three now because, hey, Why one not? wasn't enough to bring people in. And just like they said before, they look to blow it up. Look out! More sharks! Holy How? shit! You can take down a fly on Mars with that firepower! Look yeah, out, just like... More sharks! There you go! Stop down to the nose. Run up! Okay, I'm not gonna act like I'm a Sharknado expert, and I pray to Lord God that there's no such thing as a Sharknado expert, but I'm gonna Thank call God. bullshit on the scientific data that concludes you can fucking blow up wind. Yeah, I don't know. I think even Mythbusters would have a hard time proving this one. Yeah, no kidding. Boy, oh boy, do we have a myth for you! Where do you get a load of this one? We're gonna see if we can blow up a tornado filled with sharks. A sharknado, if you will. <laughs> I'm way too sober for this, so why don't I take a shot while we cut to our random hot chick and her team? Well, whatever Me we're too. working on is never as impressive as what you're working on, so let's get back to you. That's better. So, Jamie, what do we learn today? That if two people can survive a tornado strapped to a drainage pipe with leather belts, anything is possible. So, once again, this hour of your life was... Oh wait, it's on! Why aren't you watching Storage Wars? <laughs> Amy. So just as... Harsh? <laughs> I mean, come on, I like Miss Busters. Honestly, the two of them would work together. Like, <laughs> Doug would be the... Adam and Critic or Snob would be Jamie. <laughs> Pretty works well, you ask me. <laughs> Sorry, it's just that image I I can't get it out of my head now. Okay, we're almost in the end, so let's wrap things up.
after the first Sharknado is blown apart, sharks start landing everywhere, resulting in probably the silliest thing you're gonna see all week. Whoa! Woohoo! Let's see that again on the stupidly awesomely stupid yep. cam! Yep. Damn! Damn. Right down the middle. Somewhere out there, there's a person reading. <laughs> what a fucking loser. They take out the second one as well, resulting in the sharks landing at the old folks' home. Oops. Oh, they're falling in a chlorine filled pool. This will probably take care of itself. The sharks were the only ones to visit us in years! Run! Again, gas equals like a jigsaw in here. Hey, Jamie, a lot of people have been wondering, is it possible to set water on fire? Who the hell is wondering that? Let's check in with a random hot chick. Um, I have a PhD, you know. Whatever, just say some puns. Uh... Now we're really in hot water. I'm going to go kill myself in my trailer. <laughs> they arrive at the last one and get ready to toss in the final bomb. Say, what does the inside of a Sharknado look like anyway? Let's find out. Hello! my son. You must be so proud. Honestly, I went for my daughter first. Oh my god! But a uh -oh. shark latches itself onto the helicopter and <laughs> get a load of this. Wow! <laughs> Come on! Just whoop! Not even in the best played <laughs> game of Tetris do yeah. things fall yeah. that whoop. perfectly into place. You <laughs> Look, Just even the sun look. when shouting no is kind of laughing a bit. <laughs> no! 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 Oh, kind of funny. You can't yeah. laugh at the little things. <laughs> no! no! So Finn finishes the job by driving the last bomb into it. This results in one last shark coming down towards him. One more tank song. Down the middle. Logic of itchy and scratchy cartoons, don't <laughs> fail me now! Help me now! <laughs> Wait, he's got shock rabies. Oh, what? What did the bomb? Oh, come on! What are the odds? Look at what else I found in here. Jimmy Hoffa, Amelia Earhart, and my missing Lava. left sock. Who the shark has everything? <laughs> Who the hell? Oh my god. Is Alcatraz in there? Or wait. Hey, hey sharks. So the Sharknadoes are destroyed. These two are for now. together for no reason. And the world lives happily ever after the stupidest thing they've ever seen in their entire lives. Boom! Yeah, of course. It's a whole lot of boo. Guys, do we even need to sum up this movie? Oh, if you're shit. even remotely interested in seeing a film with a title as stupid as this, you're pretty much gonna get what you expect. It's lame, sure. it's crazy, it's completely over the top. What else can you say? It's called Sharknado. So, expect. with that said, Cinema Snob, do you really think the success of this movie came purely just from the title alone? Maybe. Grim Reaper Motorcycle Manslaughter 9000. Grand Theft Wizards X. <laughs> Cannibal We're gonna be a while, Hunter. Versus Amazon Girls are good. Wait, wait, did I make that movie? Beyond Cannibal Confederates versus Amazon Girls of Coco. Popular meme versus other popular meme. Bruce Campbell versus himself. Hmm? Now what? Oh hell, you're not gonna believe this. According to my shitty movie alert. Hey, that's a good app. Isn't it? I really enjoy it. Sci-Fi is releasing all the titles that we just named here. 
Ouch. Great. Well, how else are we gonna exploit our extreme marketing crappy ideas? Huh? Hi, uh, they fired me from Mythbusters. Do you guys need any help around here? Hmm. Hmm? Hmm. Blueberry tea fairy yummy kitten rainbows. Nah. Unicorn sparkle poofy muffin easy bake oven word salad. Cuddly castle of cheerleading cannibals? Wait, does that go against the whole cutesy feminine thing? Well, that's the great thing about extreme marketing for the female demographic, is that so many options have opened up. Like, cutesy, dark, innocent, edgy, stay-at-home mother, neurodermal biosurgeon, or all of the above. Wow. Hmm. So, uh, what about extreme marketing for the male demographic? Oh, well, we got a lot of stuff. Uh, we can be manly. Sensitive. Hmm. That's about it. Yeah. Wah, wah. Well, let's just keep working on exploiting this one. Oh, yeah, good idea. Iron yeah, Twinkle Scott? Robo Princess Mega Saga. Two Two Terror <laughs> Two. Two Two Boogle. Two Two Boogle. <laughs> okay. Weird word to end things on, but I'll take it. There you go, Sharknado. Did you guys see this? Let me know. I actually remember watching the TV like movie. I think the first two, but after that, I was like, yeah, I'm I'm out. <laughs> Uh, anyway, let me know what you guys think of it. Brought back a memories or not? If not, sorry. Adios.